Hi Taurus and welcome to your general and love weekly tarot forecast. This is for the week of August 13th through August 19th, 2018. I will do two separate readings in this video. The first one will be for the general energies for your week and the second one will be love energies for the week. I have put time stamps for both readings in the description box below. So Taurus, let's see who you are this week, what you have going on. I'm going to pull a court card here. Okay, let's see. Ooh, we have the Sage of Orbs. So the Sage being wise and this wisdom coming from um, the mental body, the higher mind, logic, life experience rather than from emotion. There's no emotional bias attached to this card. So anything you're dealing with this week or any sort of decision that you must make needs to come from the wisdom of your soul or the logic of your higher mind rather than being emotionally persuaded or swayed in any fashion okay so you guys are the sage of orbs this week and let's see what area of your life this is specifically pertaining to or mainly pertaining to since this is general okay Ooh, we got the third house that could not be better paired some of you absolutely could be um, dealing with a Gemini for your general energies this week as well just because of the pairing of these two cards so Taurus what this tells you is this is a week about communications or learning something new all right so this could be where you're just finally understanding something that's been going on in your life. This could be where you're actually um, expanding your education somehow, some way. Um, it could be as small as like learning a new computer program for your job to, you know, enrolling in school or making the decision that you want to enroll in school this week. Um, but it's all about the mind, the intellect and communication for Taurus this week. So let's see what uh, comes out here. The energies inside of you, the main force that's driving you this week. Woo, look at that. The moon. Okay, so sage, wise, right? Your intuition, your soul wisdom. So, Taurus, we have the higher mind over here at play, and then we have the inner world, the intuition coming into play. And here we have this third house, communication and learning. So, this to me, you know, feels kind of like a, a deep week for you guys could be some deep introspecting going on um, again we could be learning something new things could finally be clicking and making sense um, we might be communicating it's interesting because the moon is emotion but in the sense of this reading I feel this is more of your intuition that we're talking about because we have the higher mind here okay so it's like we've got to be in balance there and I just feel like maybe emotions might be throwing you off course, um, you know, messing with like decisions that you want to make or things you want to do for yourself. And the universe is like, no, what is your soul telling you? And from there, analyze that in your higher mind and you'll know the direction to go. Wow. So the energy around you is Capricorn. The energy around you is serious, materialistic, and hardworking. It bestows shrewdness and cautious ambition. So this isn't so much to say you're dealing with a Capricorn. You could be, all right, but that's not so much what this is about. It's the energy around you. So um, cautious ambition, yes. Any decision you have to make, anything you're doing this week, Taurus, don't let your emotions persuade you. They have no place this week. I feel like they'll throw you off course or somebody may be trying to distract you. Hey, Taurus, do this. Hey, Taurus, I need you for this. Hey, Taurus. And it's like you're really focused. You need to work hard at something this week, okay? Um, especially if you're learning something new, um, just put your all into it and you will totally prevail. Um, also with this, because of the Sage of Orbs and the Moon, 
people might be coming to you for advice this week. I and maybe even some like help uh, physically. They could it could be about like, hey, can I borrow some money? Hey, could you come help me move this item? Hey, could you help me do my garage sale? You know, something like that. Um, but I really feel this is more of, of like just deeper, more soul. You know, and that definitely manifests into the physical and how that manifests is different. But you guys might uh, be giving a lot of advice. And so we have Capricorn here, and now we have the devil, which could definitely represent Capricorn energy or just a oppressive energy that's really hard to deal with. But what I feel more is either... Somebody around you is pushing you like, hey, Taurus, I need more from you. Taurus, do this. Taurus, do that. It could be in the workplace or in the home. Somewhere it's like a lot is being demanded of you, okay? Or on the flip side of that, it could be where you are finally coming into the decision and understanding that you need more help. If you're around a bunch of lazy coworkers, like you're over it, okay? Um, if you're trying to achieve something or learn something new, I'm telling you, Taurus, you put your heart and soul into it, you will prevail. Now we have this King of Wands, this Five of Swords, this Tower, and now more air energy, the king of swords. So um, you have the king and king, the king and queen of swords here. All right, um, Taurus, you stand your ground. You know somebody may really shock you. It could be a fire sign, could be an air sign. Um, where it's just like they always have to have the last word. Like they're very argumentative. They're defensive. They're a know-it-all. Um, and this might be, Taurus, this might be where you're finally like, you know what? I have had it with you and you just snap. But the way you present yourself and bring your uh, thoughts and emotions forward is in a very classy, uh, professional way where it's like logic and fact, um, like this happened, that happened. This is how you're behaving. This is what's going on. This has caused this. Like that's how you're coming at a situation or person this week. And you're very factual. You're very straight. You're very blunt. You're very forward about it. But I feel whoever else is involved or whoever else you're dealing with may be very defensive, immature, childish, and almost shock you to the degree of what they're willing to do or say to get their way or to get out of something. And... I just feel like you might put them in their place this week. Um, you have a, a whole slew. You have fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sag. You have air energy, Gemini, Libra, uh, Aquarius. And then you also have a, this strong Capricorn energy. And so, listen, Taurus, you go with your soul this week. Um, if somebody is really trying to trigger you emotionally, if you have to have any sort of dialogue with them, come from a very logical, um, well put together place, not an emotionally triggered, angry, hurt, upset place. Come from a very high place of logic, of soul. And I feel like that allows you to put them in their place in a way that you never have before. All right. And let them know, hey, you better just back off. So Taurus, you stand your ground this week. Um, there may be some things that you find out going on around you with other people like friends, family, coworkers that just shocks the crap out of you. Like you're learning something here and you're like, you know, I kind of always had a feeling that that was going on, but I was like, no, no. And you're like finding out this week that, yeah, yes, it is. Uh, because Capricorns here very well could be playing out in the workplace, Taurus. But um, for you guys personally, you make sure you speak your truth from a very high place, especially when you're dealing with somebody who's defensive, argumentative, 
immature, has to have the last word, just that type of energy. You stand strong in who you are and you ultimately will, you know, prevail in dealing with that. So let's pull an um, outcome advice for the week. But also, again, some people might be coming to you as mediator or, you know, Taurus, is this right? Do you agree with this? Because here you are, the sage of orbs this week, very wise, very serene. Um, coming from the intellect. So there may be people coming to you saying, hey, what do I do about this? Or what do I do about this person? And you might find yourself incredibly shocked at the stories that they're telling you and why they need your help. You might be like, oh, dear God. Okay, so yeah, here's the broom. Something needs to be swept out of your life. Very well could be a person or situation. Taurus and dang we have the mayor here and I can't remember I think maybe Aquarius or Pisces some other sign got this exact pairing right there so with this exactly what I've been saying Taurus whatever needs to be like talked about discussed or swept out of your life do it in a very a uh, sensitive, compassionate, and classy, professional manner. Don't have a heavy fist, all right? Even if you want to, you have every right to, don't have a heavy fist. That is how you prevail, and you sweep the negativity, this heavy energy, right on out of your life, or you're dispensing the advice to others on how to handle this, and it's, you know, you need to sweep that out of your life, you need to make a change, you need to let it go, but whatever it is, it's like we already kind of know this inside, okay? So, Taurus, this week, stand your ground, expect to have a lot of communication and conversations, uh, expect to be learning something new, whether it's academically um, or to, you know, advance yourself in your career somehow, or if you're just learning out a bunch of stuff, but again, have a very soft hand in how you handle things. Don't let emotions sway you. Come from the logic of your higher mind, okay? So, Taurus, those are your general messages for the week. I am wishing you all the very best. Take care. Okay, Taurus, let's see what uh, we have going on in the romance department for this week. Oh, romance. Look at that. Lavish the one you love with your personal attention and affection. So, Taurus, this could be a very romantic week for some of you. Um, if you are in a committed relationship, this is either your partner giving you extra love and attention, or maybe this week, you know, you should take the initiative to really dote on your partner and give them some extra love and attention and affection, even if you're like, no, they don't deserve it. Maybe you should and just see what that does. Like something about being very romantic, sentimental, accommodating, pampering, loving, cuddly, all that type of energy really serves you well um, in your romantic dealings. So if you need to dispense a little bit of that out a bit more, do so. It will lead to great things. If you're just dating somebody, um, there's no real commitment. I feel like this is a nice week. Um, good dates, good conversation, good time with each other. They may very well be falling all over themselves to romance you, or you may be falling all over yourself to romance them, okay? Uh, with romance there, somebody unexpected could be like, hey, Taurus, I'm all about you. You know, um, if you are completely single, this is definitely the opportunity and the opening for a, a new relationship to maybe show up on the scene this week. So, wow. Um, <laughs> we have the second house here, which, I mean, come on, it couldn't get better paired. Also, this is your house on the Zodiac Wheel, Taurus. Your assets, finances, and the things that you value. So, um, this week, you could really be spoiling your partner, or somebody could really be spending and dropping on you. My God. Uh, very romantic week. Expensive dates. If you have a first date with somebody, 
this week. Either you're going all out or they're going all out or it's just like romantic as hell. We're very physically attracted to each other. If you are in a committed relationship, we might be deciding to drop money on a big ticket item, which really excites us, like a trip, a car, a new home, you know, something, a surround sound in your house. Oh my God. <laughs> and uh, as I'm shuffling to see what's going on inside of you, Taurus, look at what comes out. Venus, the part of you that desires beauty, success, indulgence, and valuables. Venus is your ruler, okay? Uh, the second house, the house of Taurus. So your energy is very strong, very alluring. You are attracting a lot of um, romantic attention to, towards you. So you might get extra whistles, some hollers, people holding doors, people going out of their way for you. Just more than general, like turning heads. Hey, Taurus, people reaching out that you never even knew liked you or from the past, hey Taurus, what's up? How are you? What's good? You know? So uh, again, very romantic week or we are really indulging. We're being very pampered, very spoiled or we're pampering and spoiling. Uh, money's being spent. Uh, this could also be some really awesome sex to be had this week. Uh, maybe we're going on vacation. So let's see what the energy around Taurus is romantically. Ooh, so we got Aquarius. That is not what I would expect with this, but it says the energy is freedom loving, rebellious, idealistic, and technological. So with that, um, I just feel like honestly what I'm seeing here is a lot of really awesome communication and conversations taking place, a lot of emotional and physical connection taking place for Taurus this week, um, being spoiled, spoiling somebody. Wow. Wowza. And since your energy came out so strong, this could be an Aquarius some of you are dealing with. Um, that's not so much how I read that card, but <clears throat> since... I see you right here. This could be all about an Aquarius, and we're just having a fabulous time. So I guess if you meet an Aquarius this week, wow. Any dates you're going on, um, being single, like nothing on the map, man, it could really show up this week. Just uh, be in your higher mind about some things, okay? Or Taurus, you might just be really la la la, and who you're dealing with might be a bit more of an intellectual. So let's see. <clears throat> so we have the sun. We have the seven of cups. We have the five of pentacles. The three of pentacles. And lastly, the ten of pentacles. So um, listen, some of you have been holding back in your, like, pursuing somebody um, or in your relationship you currently have, you've been holding back, like, what do I do? I don't want to be rejected. How do I go about this? You know, what's the right way? And now here, here's where we have that coming together, the investment in one another, coming out of isolation and recognizing, you know, it's better to vibe than to be without each other is what I'm feeling. So if you're just dating somebody or even somebody from your past, or if, you, if you're in a relationship, it's like, this energy here where we're unsure, we don't know what to do, we might really be fearing rejection, financial issues, all of that. It's like by week's end, that's no longer even an, an issue. It's like, here's where we're, okay, let's invest. Here's some money, you know, whether maybe somebody needs a job or maybe one of you is really financially struggling and the other one just says you know what here you go you need this i got you some of you this is more coming out with your true feelings for each other and being like you know what um we really click we really connect let's do this so no matter what we've been facing by week's end it's all good Taurus, it's good. It's beautiful. It's great. Um, some of you, this might be where you have more options than you thought you would. And you're like, well, which one do I pursue? I really don't want to hurt anybody's feelings. I don't want to reject anybody. But um, I don't know. I just feel like this is a good week in romance for Taurus. And uh, especially by week's end, it's just fantastic. Um, pay attention to the red flags. 
and chemistry. Okay, so this here I feel like is talking about this energy because that's exactly what that would be. However, based on what I see in this reading, there these I don't feel are real red flags. It's more of confusion, miscommunication, fear, and insecurity. Okay, so you know this could be prompting you if you have a lot of issue with who you're pursuing or who you're in a relationship with this could be saying hey it has a lot to do with their insecurities um, emotional baggage things like that or that's what's going on with you if you're like this is a really great person we have this amazing chemistry but I'm so afraid I'm holding back it's you know because of the past it's time to let that go and allow yourself to open up and invest in this new opportunity that is presented before you okay so there is some insecurity there is some doubt there is some confusion you know here in the beginning of the week but ultimately if we communicate we love each other we romance each other we don't hide we don't hold back we give in to the amazing chemistry that exists between the two of us it's like you know everything works out it's beautiful um listen i just if you're feeling really suspicious or scared, I don't feel like you need to be. I don't. I just feel like you have such a great connection that it's overwhelming to you, okay? So, Taurus, it looks freaking fantastic in um, regards to love and romance for you guys. The first start of the week might be a little, you know, choppy, but by week's end, I'm telling you, it looks amazing. So, those are your messages, Taurus. I'm wishing you all the very best. Take care.